Uh, hello. <laughs> hello everyone. It's Jeremiah with DealSoup.com, best business blog in the world for young adults. And today I am going to be um, doing my blog challenge day nine uh, for the 21 day blog challenge. So every 20, every for every day for 21 days, I will be doing the blog for DealSoup.com. Today's video, I am going to be talking about identifying your talent. Identifying your talent is very important. I heard Steve Harvey. I heard Steve Harvey said this. He said, <clears throat> he said, our uh, just because you are passionate about something doesn't necessarily mean it's a talent. So you can be um, a business owner. A jack of all trades and a master of none. But that one talent that you have, you need to capitalize on that talent. I don't care what it is. If that is your talent, you will know that is your talent. You will be able to maximize on it if you are consistent with it. Be consistent with your talent. Don't stretch yourself in so many places where you don't need to be. You know, if you do something, if you're a video editor and you can do the best 30 seconds of a video ever, that's what you need to be working towards. Don't work towards doing minute or two minutes because your strength is the 30 seconds. Market yourself in that 30 second window, just as an example. If you are really good at web designing, but you're not good at programming, just as an example. Do web designing. Get a, get a programmer. Or vice versa. For the programmer. If you're a programmer and you need to do web designing for some for some reason. If you want to sell that. Um, sell the programming. Don't sell the web designer if you're going to do it yourself. Your talent is programming. So I just want to let everybody know to identify your talent. Say identify your talent. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see you guys tomorrow.